Hi everyone, welcome to Glen Tutorials. So today's video is for my students and for all the students who are watching me right now. Okay, and this is for you know the school students especially because of late for the past one two weeks many parents as well as my students, my students' parents as well as my students. There have there have been many issues where the students are not being able to understand the parents, especially the school students are not understanding how to have a good connect with your parents. So I have made this small video with you know specific pointers for all the students who are watching me, so that you will be able to have a good contact and a good connection with your parents, so that you'll be able to understand each other a bit better. So we'll start. Unlock the conversation. How to connect with your parents? Okay. So the first point of how we are going to have a good connection with our parents is listen actively. Now, what is the meaning of listening actively? You know, it is very important for you instead of just saying, then nodding your head or just saying, "Ha, okay." Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is called ignoring what they are trying to say because you are not listening to them. By saying, by I'm, what I'm, what I mean to say by saying, listen actively is whenever your parents start telling you something, let it be that you, they may be, you may be thinking they are nagging or they are saying something repeatedly again and again and again. But the most important thing is they are trying to explain you something or tell you something. So it is your duty as their son or their daughter. To give an active ear to what they are trying to say. Unka baat baad achhi tarah sunna hai. Sunna hai means what? Listen. Applying and everything. See later you can think about it. You know whatever applying as in what? Suppose your children, your parents are telling you to study well, and you are already studying. So those pointers will come later. How you can make them understand that you are doing it at the moment. But what is important is you have to give a good ear to them. You have to listen to them without any distractions. You shouldn't ignore them or just nod your head or just say "ha, okay." So this is called disrespecting them. So this, you know, creates a crack between the relationship between the relationship that you have with your parents. The next one: speak clearly and <coughs> calmly. Now, many times it happens that children tell me, my students specially tell me that my parents are not listening to me. Now, there is a reason for it. You know, there is a way you need to respond to your parents when they are telling you something. If you get angry, irritated, annoyed, and speak in a loud tone, your parents will not be able to understand what you are saying, and they'll not listen to you. You have to speak clearly and calmly when you are speaking loudly, when you are screaming, shouting, and talking. And you're not talking in a calm uh, manner. Your parents tend to not listen to you, so it is your energy that is wasted. And then you say, "My parents are not listening to me." You have to talk in a very calm tone, aaram se, dhire se, achhe se baat karna hai. Then only your parents will be able to understand what you are trying to tell them. Any other tone, it will be your loss. You will, they will not understand what you are saying. They will get more irritated on your tone. And not try to understand what you are trying to tell them. So keep this second point in mind. The next point: be honest. By what I mean by being honest, you know, whatever you want from them. And suppose they have any question, or uh, rather than question, you know, sometimes they tell you uh, what you feel. We should uh, go out tomorrow, or what? Okay. If you feel that no, you want to stay at home. You don't feel like going out. Be honest and tell them. And give them a logical reason why you cannot just tell them no, I don't want. Or rather, no, don't be so blunt and rude and tell them something because of which they'll get angry or irritated with you. Honesty means be honest in telling your opinion to them in a calm manner. If you disagree with whatever they say, be calm and be honest and tell them no, I disagree with this. This shouldn't be done in this way. By this, by this way of you talking, your parents will respect you more because they will know that see, my daughter or my son is respectful and is telling me something honestly. So that, and this is the way we should listen to our children. Every parent will want that. They will listen to you if you are honest in telling your feelings to them and being honest in all your deeds and your thoughts, whatever you are doing in school. 
whatever you are doing outside the house be honest and tell them this will create a good understanding between you and your parents and your parents will understand you better because that respect factor will increase for you by your parents the next one ask questions very important for you as a child to ask questions okay now i request my students parents also that whenever anything is not going right you know your duty as a parent is to reason out with your children all this and have a good dialogue with them but as children suppose you feel some things are not going good so you with your suppose your parents are behaving you in a bad with you in a bad uh, manner or they are not trying to understand what your feelings are so it is your duty as a son or a daughter to ask them questions openly of why is this that you are feeling don't directly counter them if they feel that you know my uh, So, you know, whatever you are, suppose your name is Rahul. Say Rahul. Your father will tell you, Rahul, I feel you are not scoring well. You are not doing well. Then you tell father, Dad, why are you feeling this? I feel I am doing better compared to last time. This time I have done better, and next time I will do much better. So it is your duty as a son or a daughter to reason out with your parents. Have a good communication with them. Just don't be a dumb and keep quiet. Suppose they say something, just you know, keep those questions in your. heart only that why my parents are asking me i am doing my best in my life still they are trying to force me upon certain thing which i don't want to do andar hi rakh ke kuch fayda nahi hai you have to ask you have to have a good dialogue and talk to your parents and ask them questions about what they are feeling you know for they are feeling about you only then your parents will try to understand you better the next one use i statements what is the meaning of using i statements sometimes it happens no whenever you have a sibling a brother or a sister or whatever suppose your parents you feel that your parents are becoming little biased they are uh, covering up for your brother or sister and they are not taking your side so what do you say you always do that with me and you always do that with him or you never do that with me instead of saying this you 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 use i statement means mama or dada dad or mom mummy daddy whatever you call them i want this to happen like i also need this if your parent is giving your brother or sister something i also need this it would be kind if you would give me also this so this type of a dialogue works this type of a dialogue helps a lot in having a good connect with your parent instead of blaming them directly have this you know way of talking to them of telling them your feelings openly and telling them what you want rather than directly judging them and telling them on purpose you are doing this no parent tries to be biased or do partiality with their you know uh, both their children but it happens unknowingly at times so as a son or a daughter if you feel that something like that is happening it's your duty to tell your parent by using the i statements whatever you feel tell rather than blaming them and judging them the next point show appreciation we very rarely do this using words as thank you using words as i love you we rarely tell these things to our parents okay we feel it is it is taken for granted these type of words you feel you have gone to 5 6 7 8 9 12 13 14 15 year old you will feel it's over now i cannot what to i feel shy to tell your parents i love you or you feel shy to tell your parents thank you or whatever no being grateful being you know showing appreciation to them only appreciating them on mothers day fathers day and their birthdays is not enough 24 hours 365 days if they are doing something for you those minute things also as a child say thank you say i love you mummy i love you daddy for doing this for me i really appreciate it if possible if you are getting some pocket money buy some small things for them it really creates a big impact between the connect the for the connection between you and your parents we rarely tend to do this but this really works show appreciation towards whatever they do because they are having a very tough life which they never tell you about they are bearing it all alone but as children the only way you can you know show your love and affection to them is to appreciate the little things that they do the next one be open to feedback none of the parents you know they want to be or go against their children they want to try to criticize their children no none of the parents want this okay i have been speaking to so many parents in my you know around 15 to 18 years of teaching career 
but none of the parents i have seen they want to be against their children but their way of giving feedback is different every parent has a different way of giving feedback some some parents are little dominating some parents shout some parents tell politely some parents try to compare you know see we cannot judge our parents time you know we cannot tell them no this is not the way to tell me this is not the way they are just telling you they are opening their heart out but as children be open to that whatever type of feedback they are giving you be open to it because they just want you to have a good life they do want you to be unhappy in life they want you to be happy and settled in life that is the reason they are you know sometimes you feel they are nagging they are shouting they are screaming they are beating whatever it's their way of telling you that uh, my son my daughter i am worried about you i want you to have a good life that is the way this is my behavior it may be wrong or right so the previous pointers as i said if you feel it is wrong reason out tell them that this is wrong you tell me in this way i will understand just don't be mum and then you keep on discussing with your friends my parents are like this and my parents are like that and then your friends compare them with their parents and all and then you feel are i don't like my parents this is the way they behave i hate them and then your life only goes in the ditch you are not going to benefit in any way so the best thing is that you have to have keep on increasing and making your connection with your parents better by listening to them they are feedback feedback that is that reason it is called their feedback means what they are keeping on guiding you and telling you how you will improve let it be your marks your life your friendship your personality anything this feedback really helps as you know for children it will help a lot for you people parents know you the best more than anyone in this world so when you listen to them they hear them out and then reason out with them be open to all of this it really works for you to have a good life the next point find the right time what is the meaning of finding the right time whatever we want to talk to our parents okay what happens is sometimes our mother and our father are discussing some intense topic that should be about financial things about house about you know relatives or some intense topic about some stressful topic and as children suddenly we barge in and we tell them are i have this thing i want to go out with my friends i want you to buy this i have no geometry box or my phone is not working or whatever this is an issue you know this creates a problem and then your parents shout at you and then you get irritated okay so think you know what is the right time when your parents are at ease when your parents are calm when your parents are little bit free i know you might think my parents are never free no but there will be times if you if you are you know finding then only you will get times and uh, you know those moments when your parents are sitting idle and little bit free the best time may be during your dinner and lunch if you all it's it's better if you all you know as a family if you all are having dinner together and all or lunch together or breakfast together whatever meal together that time that's the best time to have a good conversation you want to talk to about your friends or something about your school or about your books or about your games or mobile or anything you can have that conversation when your parents are at ease so that you get a good constructive and a logical reply from them so this way you can have a good connect with your parents the next point stay positive now very important as children is that whenever we are approaching and you know our parents and trying to have a conversation with them don't think negative don't think that are what is the use telling my mother she will always behave like this what is the what is the use telling my father he behave like this only no it's not like that it's about a situation you know your mother will be at a certain situation in her life and that time you will ask her something and she will give this reaction so you make a you know just put a label on her that she behave like this only it's not like that you know be positive and every situation every moment of your parents life is different it's not the same same thing for you as children every moment of your life is different it's not the same okay so be positive and then approach them it will work out and be patient also you know maybe in the later topics yeah the next topic is about being patient very important as children for you to be patient okay first was be positive and then be patient if any thing you want your parents to listen to you or have some good conversation and understanding with you it doesn't happen overnight it takes time everything takes time if you as children are trying to change you know the way you connect with your parents you have to be patient you your parents obviously will not tell, let you change overnight okay same thing with you you don't expect your parents you know are change overnight 
I was like this before, now I am like this, now you change. No. Give your parents also time. Be patient. Your parents will try to understand you. Everything will happen. You change and then your parents also will change. The next point. Respect differences. Okay. How much ever we say we are from the same blood. I'm from, I'm come from my mother's womb and my dad and mom and we all are same. No, it's not like that. We are different. We are made different by God. Why? Because we are brought up in different scenarios. Your father was brought up in a different environment, mother in a different environment and you are brought up in a different environment. So don't expect your parents to be like you and to understand you immediately. Every person is different. Respect those differences. Your father will have a different way of seeing things. Your mother will have a different way. You will have a different way. Respect each another's opinion. Respect your mother's, your father's opinion. Maybe it will not be the same as what your opinion is. But you need to respect it and you need to logically reason out of why you think that your opinion is more logical than their opinion. Don't directly insult and be rude to them telling them that you are wrong and I am right. It will cut your relation between them. Best and the most uh, you know, productive way is to reason out with them. Respect their opinion and reason out why your opinion matters the most. If it really matters and if it is really logical. Next and you know the most important thing, parents nowadays as well as before, you know, they have their own set of challenges. I am also a parent. There are ups and downs in our lives. Okay. Every parent has their ups and downs in their life. So as children try to respect the times when they are a bit low, when they are off mood, when they are not in that, you know, zone to make, you know, talk to you or have a good conversation with you or anything. Respect that time of theirs. Practice empathy. That's why it is called. By practicing empathy, you are showing concern to them that yes, daddy or mommy, you are unwell or you are having a, you had a tough day today, you have a tired day today, you are stressed because of whatever family issues or financial issues and all. Respect that. Be with them. Okay. In that rather than telling your own, pro own problems and telling them my problems are greater than yours. So please solve this first and forget all of this. This will create an issue between you and them. So instead of that, be little, you know, have little more empathy towards them so that they will have a good respect and understanding with you. And the last one, follow up. After having all these types of conversations, see that you have a good follow up with them. Follow up as in be consistent. When you are having, you are asking them questions or a patient or whatever your feelings are with them, be repetitive towards it. Don't give up. Have a good follow up. When we go to the doctor, we take medicines, we are called again after two days, three days. Why? Because the medicines have to continue or not, the doctor has to check. Same thing you. When you are having a conversation with them, with your parents, if something works out, if you feel yes, this way of me communicating with my parents has worked, repeat that way. It will help you, you know, having a good connect and having a very healthy family life with your parents. You will never dislike them you will always understand them and they will also understand you so in conclusion okay students my students as well as all the students or the children who are watching me it is very important for me, for you as kids you know to have very good connect and have a good communication have good communication with your parents we tend to ignore this nowadays we feel that if we have good amount of friends we have you know we are enjoying with our mobile and our laptop and games and we are getting our food clothing shelter things are good but a good con connect with your parents is very important now the main problems in a student life starts when your parents don't understand you and when you don't understand your parents when you both understand each other your life is much better your parents will be the ones who will love you unconditionally. Remember that. Your friends will not love you unconditionally. How much ever you had a rough day, when you come back home, your parents are always there for you. Their way of telling things might be different. Everyone is not same. We need to respect their different, the differences that we have as humans. But as a child, if you respect them and if you respect their way of dealing things, even they will respect your way of dealing with things thank you to all my students who are watching me uh, have a good evening take care bye